really important that our students who are leaving the service have any affiliation, whether they're spouses of military members, whether they're dependent, dependents of military members, using any kind of benefit, that they are able to know that there's opportunity for them to succeed. It's a processing center for any student veteran to come seek out how to use their benefits. In reality, why I do work for them is because I do want to, I do want to outreach more to student veterans. Um, so when they asked me if I would like to be their graduate research assistant, I said absolutely. And it's been a fantastic opportunity to see what more can I do in that position for the rest of the student veterans at this university. The ultimate goal is to make UTEP more military friendly. And that is important, especially with Fort Bliss being a partner member. Some of the challenges that I've seen is just finding a sense of, of feeling comfortable. Um, you, you find that after a few years in the military, you figure out what you have to do, what your responsibilities entail, and who you report to. Right here, you don't have that. Um, it's really independent thinking. It's independent. It's a whole independent journey. And even though you have students alongside of you, nobody has that experience unless you go and, and seek it. I can turn to my left and to my right in my classroom and ask who has a connection with the military, and not anybody does. And it, when I need to discuss things in my classes as course involvement because there's discussion points and I want to talk about the military, I tend to stray away from it because I don't know if I want to be defined by the military. And so there's a part of that. There's a part of still trying to find that comfortable path. You know, do I want to be labeled as a veteran? Why do I feel ashamed of it? I shouldn't. But how much can I really talk about it and still feel understood? Because when you come from a community of everybody's wearing a uniform every day, you have that instant connection. But who do I have an instant connection? have to go seek my student veterans. A part of the transition for me has just been how to return back to civilian life. And the thing that's been interesting is when you enter the military, you get taught how to be a soldier. You get taught how to be an officer. You know, you go through a lot of leadership development courses. But in reality, there's nothing there when it comes back to being a civilian. So the first thing that I looked for at the university was how to climatize myself as a student veteran. Um, how could I perform well in the classroom but not be overwhelmed? I may not know every student veteran's name out there on campus, but I'm still somewhat leading them because as they may not know my name, but when they see an opportunity, that's still us servicing them. That's still this name servicing them. The greatest thing for me has been using what I did in the military, using my experience in the military, to still tie it with my passion. So here I am doing that, and that's been incredible.